Yo, what it do again? Welcome back to the channel. So listen guys, uh, a few people have been asking me to make guides on the recent decks that I've played on the channel. So that's why we're here with Exorcisters. With that being said, if you guys enjoy the content, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Let's get into the guide. Before I actually start showing you the guide and stuff like that, I want to let you know that we are running the Magicians package. Um, I didn't run it in my previous video where I actually played the deck because I was just trying to be play it a little bit differently. That's how I am and stuff. I'm sorry. But you should definitely run this, this card right here because it helps tremendously with the consistency of the deck. Um, so that's why I'm letting you know that this is here. So with that being said, I'm going to show you the combos and go over what every card does as I'm doing the combos so you guys understand and see it as it's happening. So let's get into that. Alright guys, so for the first combo, I'm going to show you how to combo off using your Stella and any other Exosisters in the hand. So you have Stella and another Exosister. So you're going to uh, normal summon your Stella. Immediately you can activate her effect to special summon another Exosister that you have in the hand, except for herself, right? So we have a Sophia, we're going to special summon her. Now Sophia has a second effect, which is really cool. If you have another Exosister monster on the field, she gets to draw a card freely. Just draw a card, bro. You do your thing, right? So um, that's one of her effects, which is really good. So now we're gonna use both of these monsters to exceed summon into your capital. Uh, capital has two effects. The first effect right here, you don't really need to activate it, but it basically says neither player can special summon monsters from the graveyard for the rest of this turn. Um, you could activate this to try and bait out a negate to see if they like try it but you don't really need to you're going to activate her second effect it doesn't matter which one you detach honestly i'll detach the stella for now and then you're going to search out your martha right with your martha you're going to activate her effect you're going to special summon her and she immediately brings down an ls no questions asked right so with these two monsters you're going to go into your uh Michaelis. You can put it in defense attack position however you like, bro. It's up to you. Look at her. Look at her. Looking all sister-like. So, <laughs> you're going to activate this effect, right? Which is basically her second effect. And doesn't matter which one you detach. What she'll do is search out any one of your spells or traps, right? So, because we already have this one in the hand, I'm going to search out the other one, which is your Exosister Vatis. So then what you'll do is, um, with both of these monsters, usually, just to let you know, bro, this is the card that you want to get over this one, but since we have it in the hand, we'll go with this one, right? So, then you're going to use both of these monsters to exceed summon into your Magnifica. Put it in defense position because you don't want to get popped by, um, what's it called? Lightning Storm, I think it is. And then you're just going to set down your two traps. If you have this this spell right here, you could activate it. Legitimately, we could have activated it at the beginning, but you could activate it right if you want. If you don't, you just don't have to worry about it. Now, this is your board. This board is 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 a little bit ridiculous. I'm gonna let the computer do its computer thing so I can show you how this deck works. If the computer decides to do computer things, please. All right, there we go. Computer doing computer things. So um. I'll, I'll let it do whatever it's doing. So, for example, right here, I have a quick effect banish, right? Quick effect. Um, when you activate her effect, something that you need to know is don't get rid of the Michaelis. Mainly get rid of the Capital. I mean, it, it also depends on what you're going through and what you need. But mainly, I like to keep the Cap Michaelis so I could special summon her again. So, this is what I, what I mean. Get rid of that. We're not going to activate anything else. Sorry about that, guys. So we are going to banish this card right here, right? That's essentially what we'll do and stuff. So now she has a second effect, which is, in my opinion, ridiculous. So if your opponent activates any other effect, you get to activate her second effect. And this is why I told you to keep the uh, Michaelis in, in here. Because now I get to send the Michaelis back to the deck, right? Look. Boop. Send it back. And she's like, oh, let me bounce back onto the field, brother. <laughs> I think it's ridiculous. So now we have a quick effect. Banish a car from the graveyard or from the field, right? So I'll let the computer do its computer things. Also, right here, be, 
with this spell. You could, if an exorcist summons a summon, blah, 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 you could declare one card name, negate the activate effect. So let's say you're playing against branded fusion or something. You could legitimately activate this thing and you could be like, um, uh, basically, you could um, basically uh, type in, for example, mirror. All you have to type is mirror. Mirror, brother. Someone help me. I can't spell. So I typed in mirror, right? And then like mirror jade or something, right? Now they can never activate mirror jade ever again for this whole turn. <laughs> so again, you have your second uh, banish right here. Which is ridiculous. I can banish a card from the deck or the grave. I mean, from the field or graveyard. I'll banish this thing just to let the computer continue doing things so I could show you what the deck can do, right? Get that out of here. So, I'm computer gonna continue doing computer things. So, here I can show you uh, basically, we can activate this thing if you guys like, right? We're not going to activate anything else for the sake of just showing you. And then you could bring any sister that has a sister. So for example, like I said before, this sister, this is her main sister. So I'm going to special summon her in defense. And then I'm going to special summon her main sister, right? So computer going to do computer things. I'm going into uh, the master diamond. And right here, you see how they're about to move cards from the graveyard? I'm going to allow it. Look at these. So now you get to exceed someone with the two monsters that you just brought out with your trap, right? So let's activate this. Activate that. Um, also, you have two banishes now because of this guy right here. I can actually activate it now to show you guys. So I can activate this thing. And then I can banish the gem knight right get that out of here um and then immediately after this what i could do is exceed some and using both of these monsters but since i already used their effects to show you i don't have to do it right so what i could do is is if you exceed summon during this turn banish one card your opponent controls which is the other effect the third one is is do not apply but you could use the second one because we already exceed summon with the Magnifica into the Michaelis, which is crazy, right? So then you're going to activate this effect and banish whatever card they control, right? And now you get to exceed summon into any one of these, which is situational. You could go, you, mainly you want to go into this one because she shuts down the, the, the graveyard completely. So if your opponent is trying to do graveyard things, bro, they're not doing this. It's a dub. So then, you know, you could bring out the other one. Doesn't really matter. You could bring out the Michaelis out if you like, but... For the sake of showing you, I'll do this. And um, this one says, if this card is exceeds summon used in the Exorcist Monster, neither player can activate card effects in the graveyard this turn, right? So you're going to select that to activate it. There's no more graveyard for anybody. If they're trying to use that thing, then it's, it's, it's done. It's over. So with that being said, um, you also, if they don't get rid of your Michaelis, you have your follow, which you can activate this. Activate her second effect, right? Getting rid of the Magnifica. And then again, you get to search out your traps and or spell, which is really good, right? We'll pick out the spell for the sake of showing you. Um, then this card right here can basically boost up all of your monsters. You could detach your material from this card from the rest of this turn. All XC's monsters you control gain 800 attack, right? Detach that thing. Boost. Just, which is crazy, right? And that's not only for the Xyz monsters that are on the field. Any one Xyz monster you Xyz into is going to get the attack boost too. Look at this, bro. I'm going to go into the uh, Magnifica, right? Just so you know. Just so you know. We're going to special summon that thing. She gets the attack boost as well, bro. Any, <laughs> any Xyz monster you Xyz into will get the attack boost regardless. Which is crazy. So now that I show you that combo and I show you how most of these cards work and stuff like that. I, I'll show you how to start the combo in a different way, right? Alright gang, so for this one I'm going to show you how to start the combo by having one Illus and any other one of your Exosystem monsters, right? And it's very simple, you're going to normal summon one of your Exosystem and just special summon herself, right? 
bring it out onto the field. And then if if you normal summon Sophia, you get to draw a card, which is it's amazing, right? So then you're gonna use both of these. Again, it's the same thing. From here on, it's the same thing. All of the combos that I'm gonna show you is just different ways to start the main combo because th this is the great thing about this deck. You don't have a, a bunch of combos. It's, it's simple, it's one combo. It works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, right? So you're gonna bring out your uh, Martha again. And then you are going to activate her effect. And from here is the same thing as last time. Martha bringing the Elias. Um, from here on, we go to Michaelis. Right? What the what the woo? Michaelis is gonna search out your trap or spell, depending. Get rid of that. What the what the woo? We're gonna pick this this one right here again. I always go for this one. This is the main one that you should go for if your combo went through completely. You wanna do this, set that down, with the with the woo, get your extra sister retina, retainer, whatever, and that's your combo. You don't have the other you didn't have the other trap in the hand, so you couldn't really do much about it. But that is your combo right here. This is usually This is usually the main combo that you're gonna go into. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, and, and honestly it kinda isn't. But it's all situational, and also you could have, you know, your Imperm, Ash Blossom. It depends on the on the on the on the hand that you get, right? So with that being said, let me show you how to go into your combo with the Magistrus or Magistrus. All right, gang. So like I said, let me show you how to do the combo with the Soroa or Magistrus, however you wanna call it. And always, when you have this card, you make sure you have another Exorcist the monster. And this is essentially another Stella, legitimately. So you're going to normal summon this thing, right? You're gonna activate its effect, target itself, and then you're going to go out of these three, you're going to go for the Artemis. You're going to attach the Artemis to it, you're immediately gonna activate its effect because now it has an equipped monster, right? And you can bring out any level four spellcaster. For the sake of the video, I'll bring out the Stella. Stella can kind of be an extender here, but her, her effect is negated, that's the only downside, right? So you're gonna activate your Artemis, Artemis is going to give you another Magistrus. That's all it is for follow-up next turn. These two cards right here are already follow-up for next turn. So that's why you do it just in case. Now with these two monsters, you're going to go into your Capitel again. And from here is the same regular combo that I taught you the first time. I'm just teaching you how to go into the combo in different ways. Just so you know, right? So then you're going to act... Well, not, not this effect, sorry. You're going to activate her second effect. Again, detach whatever, doesn't really matter. And then you're going to search out your Martha. Martha, again, you're going to activate this effect. Special summon herself. Boom. Make sure that you have an Illis in the hand <laughs> when you do this. Because if the, if if this card isn't in the graveyard, I mean, if this card isn't in your deck, the combo doesn't work. This card needs to be in the deck for Martha to work, just so you know. So you don't get confused or be like, why isn't it working, right? So, then you're going to use both of these monsters. Again, you're going to go into your Michaelis. And again, this is your regular combo. Michaelis is going to search out a trap or spell. Boop, 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 boop. Get rid of whatever. Um, again, you're going to get this one right here. Both of these go into the Magnifica. Defense position, so you don't get bodied by Lightning Storm. <laughs> Oh, I picked the same trap. My fault, bro. Listen. Pretend like I picked both of the traps, right? <laughs> so that is your board. That's how you started with the Magistrus. Now I'm going to show you how to basically make the board using your spell and stuff like that. So let's get into that. All right, guys. So instead of... I didn't get the spell, but I want to show you something else. If you have your Exorcist and Martha and your Stella in the hand, it's actually a pretty good combo because you're going to activate your Stella, right? I mean your Martha, she's going to bring the Ellis, and then you're going to uh, go into your Capital. Again, you're not going to use the first effect because it doesn't really matter. Then you're going to activate this effect, right? And you are going to detach one card, and you're basically doing this to draw a card because here you're going to search out your Sophia. And this mainly works when you have Stella in the hand because you're going to normal summon Stella, and then you're going to... Activate Stella to bring the Sophia back onto the field that allows you to draw a card. 
this is, I'm just showing you, look, and this is why this is so good because you just drew into your, one of your traps. Now you can draw into the next one with your Michaelis. This is this actually worked out perfect. I didn't even plan this. So to show you that sometimes getting the Sophia and drawing a card could be actually really good, right? So again, now because you um, have the first trap that you drew with your Michaelis, you just search out the second one. It's that simple, man. It's that simple. Put it in there with the with the woo. Again, these two cards go into your Magnifica. And that's it. That's all you need. I just wanted to show you how you could do a little combo to draw a card as well, right? When you have the Martha and the Stella. Now I'm going to show you how to do it while using your your only your spell and stuff like that, right? All right, gang. This is actually the perfect hand. Look at this. This is basically your brick dub. You are Bob the Builder, essentially, but not really, right? <laughs> so you're going to activate the effect of the packs, right? Get that in there. You're going to pay your taxes, and you're going to get... If you have another Exosister monster on the hand, you can get your Stella or your Ellis, but essentially you're going to get your Martha if you don't have anything else. Then you are going to activate the Martha. And this is when you only have your spell. It's, it's not a great combo because, for example, you're going to bring these two out here, right? And you can't really go into your Capitel. Because Capitel can search out any other uh, Exosister monster. But at this point in time, you don't have any other sister to, like, combo with. So you legitimately just have to go into your Michaelis. Put her in defense position, of course. Then you're going to activate her second effect, like I said before. Detach whatever, doesn't really matter. And you are going to search out um, your other trap, right? Mainly, when this is your combo, when this is all you have and you still want to play, this is what you'll do. Don't search this card, just search this card out. Because now, if they touch the graveyard, you get to exceed summon twice. And you still get to exceed summon into your Michaelis, right? So pretending like we didn't have this, this will be your combo with just your spell. That's it. Because uh, uh, you don't have another Exosystem monster to go into um, your Capitel to then go into this card. And if you go into your Capitel and search out a card, now all you have on the field is your Capitel. <laughs> what are you going to do with that, right? So, with that being said, I think that's enough of showing you how to go into your combos and stuff like that. Alright guys, so here we are in the deck list portion of the video. So for this portion of the video, I'm going to take out every card that you don't need, right? So we're going to get rid of these, get rid of these, uh, get this out of here, get that out of here, Ta -da -da -da, goodbye, sayonara, see you later, uh, this out of here too, this and this out of here. Now, this is mainly if you're going to be running the uh, Magistrus package. If you're not going to run it, then get those out of here too, right? Which is, and then if you get those out of here, then you got to get this, this, and this out of here because it'll be pointless to have them in here. But again, you should definitely run this in the deck. Please do. So, if you are going to run it, then definitely keep these three. Now, you don't need anything else. Your Exosister Ellis can special summon herself from the hand. That is her main, like, the main things that you need to know is that if another Sixer is on the field, she can bounce herself onto the field as well. That's all you need to know. Stella, Stella is going to normal summon herself, and you have to make sure to have another Exosister in the hand, so that way you can activate her effect to special summon that other Exosister, right? Then you got your Irene. Irene is not that special. She's going to activate her effect to basically... This uh, grab one of your exorcist card from the from the hand and send it to the bottom of the deck in order to draw one card. But you do not want to send any one of your exorcists anywhere, honestly. So that's why you only run one of her. You got two exorcists, Sophia. Sophia, if you normal summon a monster, I mean, if you have an exorcist monster on the field and you normal summon her or special summon her onto the field, she's gonna draw you a card. You guys saw it in the replays uh, or in the combo guide. Also, you could definitely run her at 3. I would definitely craft this at 3 if I'm going to play the deck again. Look, I'll do it right in front of you, bro, to show you that. Running it at 3 is actually really good. Why? Because when you have this in the in the, in the the package, if you have this in your Sophia, you're going to draw a card. Because you're going to normal summon this, attach the Artemis, activate its effect, special summon Sophia. Well, actually, I'm lying. Sophia won't get to draw a card because this is not an Exorcist monster. But still, 
It's good to have three of her since you're running the uh, uh, Magistrate's package. Because it's another target for the Magistrate to special summon, even if you don't draw the card, right? So, with that being said, you're going to run three Exorcist of Martha. Martha can special summon herself from the hand as long as there's no other monster on the field or it's an XC's monster. Make sure you remember that. Then you have your Exorcist of Capra Divine. Again, this thing will help you pop a card on the field. If your Exorcist of Monster uh, battles, you get to pop a back row. Also, if you exceed summon while this thing is on the field, you could call out a name and then that, that card cannot be used this whole turn. It's just negated completely, right? Um, then you have your Exo Sister Pax, which again is your searcher. This searches out everything for you except for your traps, I believe. But any monster that you need to look for, you got that, right? Then you got your Exo Sister Vatis. Again, you saw the effect. You're going to special summon a sister and bring out her main sister onto the field. If your opponent touches the graveyard, you're going to touch your extra deck and bring out your Exo Sister. That's all that's going to happen, bro. Um, and then, uh, yeah. Then for your Exorcist to return here, again, you guys saw it in the combo version of the video. All it's going to do is banish a monster on the field. But if you already exceed summon before having to uh, use this card, then you get to banish two monsters, uh, a monster in the grave anywhere, and a monster that they control. Also, if you activated this card and then activate this thing, you could actually exceed summon using the two monsters that you special summon with this. So basically, if you activate this and your opponent decided not to touch the graveyard, then you're like, all right, I'm going to activate this and use the monsters that I just special summon with this card in order to exceed summon. That's basically all it is. That's the main gist of this. Again, let me go back to the to things being regular. Essentially, bro, this is how I run the deck. I will Some things that I could recommend, I would recommend adding evenly match onto this because going second is really good um also something else if, if if you need protection and stuff like that you can actually run um you can run the huge revolution is over if you like which basically says when a spell trap or card or monster effect activated that would destroy two monsters i mean two or more cards on the field negate the activation and if you do banish banish it now, this is mainly if somebody's going to Harpy Feather Dust to you because this deck is great, but one of its cons is the fact that um, this card gets stopped by uh, Ash Blossom. And then if you have your board and they decide to Harpy Feather Dust to you, both of your traps are useless. So essentially, those are the weaknesses of this deck. This deck goes crazy, but it also has a few weaknesses. Um... With that being said, you could definitely run that thing if you like, if you're having troubles. Something else you could uh, run in this is on the uh, Starlight Road, which is basically says when a card or effect is activated that will destroy two or more cards, you control, negate the effect, and if you do destroy that card, then you could special summon once, which the second part doesn't matter. But you could run this if you like, which is kind of weird, but if you're having really trouble with people just body in your back row you can run that thing too you can also run the judgment of anubis which basically says when your opponent activates a spell card that would destroy a spell trap or traps on the field discard one card negate the activation and if you do destroy it then you could destroy one face of monster your opponent control and if you do that inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monsters attack on the field and this is a rare I'm just saying you, you could run any other card, but the thing is that at that point you might it might get a little bricky. It's all up to you. You could try and experiment with these things. I'm just giving you the options to help you and stuff like that. Also, you can run uh, if you want to play this a little more floodgatey and stuff like that. You could run uh, you can run goes and match, which basically each player controls one attribute monsters and no face of monsters, you know what I'm saying? So because all of your monsters are legitimately light, everything is light. <laughs> so you could run goes and match in here, no problem. So you could put two goes and match in here. And if you get stopped first turn, just flip this thing over second turn and you might actually get to go again and, and do your thing, right? So that's all up to you. I, again, I just wanted to show you what each card did. I wanted to go everything that I could go over. Again, these cards are here just for this this specific card. Um, you guys saw what your Exorcist of Michaelis does. Her second effect. First effect is to banish. Second effect is to search out your traps. This card right here shuts down. Um, well, she searches out another one of your Exorcisters. While also um, 
need to play because special summon monsters from the graveyard for the rest of this turn. So she technically shuts down the graveyard, right? Then this one, she gives you an attack boost and she say negate. That's what she does. So when you special summon her by any way that you do during your opponent's turn, she can quick effect negate a monster on the field. Also, she's going to give all of your XE's monsters an attack boost. Uh, this one right here, she also just shuts down the, the graveyard. It says if this card sees someone using an XE's monster, neither player can activate card effects in the uh, in the graveyard this turn. So she shuts that thing down completely. Then you got your extra system Magnifica, which is your main monster. You guys know what she does. Quick effect banish. Then she's going to use her second effect to send a card back to the extra deck to special summon it. Really good. And then you have your uh, your Zeus. Your Zeus is Zeus. You know what Zeus does, bro. <laughs> so with that being said, that is the end of the video. Um, I hope I went over everything that I could go over. I hope you guys enjoy the content. If this helped you or if you genuinely enjoy the content, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. With that being said, if you guys have any questions, comments, and concerns, please don't be afraid to comment in the section below because my 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 YouTube little community is really cool. We, people actually will help you. If I don't get to it, somebody might actually comment in there already. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.